Hey guys, so I am here to help you decode your personal moon sign in your natal chart. But first, my name is Yelena Crawford. Welcome to my channel. So if we've never met before, then I'm super happy to have you here. And just so that you're aware, I do other educational videos on astrological topics just like this, as well as weekly astrology forecasts. So if you're interested in all of that, make sure to tap that subscribe button below, as well as the little bell icon next to it to be notified of when I post a video so you don't miss out on any of the good information. And if you do benefit from this content, please make sure to tap that like button below, help a small growing business and YouTube channel out. I would be forever grateful for that. Thank you so very much. So anyways, with no further ado, what we're going to do today, the order of events is we're going to be doing a general overview of what the moon sign is. What does this indicate? What, what aspects of your personality can this bring to the forefront? What parts of life does this decode for us? And then we will be discussing your specific moon sign placement in your natal chart. So not everybody connects to their sun sign. I've heard a lot of people say, yeah, I'm a Leo, but I don't really feel like one, right? Well, your sun sign has a lot to do with your purpose in life, the plot line of your life, what you're here to, to grow into, what you're here to embody and become, right? So no wonder why a lot of us don't feel like that because we haven't quite done that yet, right? And it'll have like a good indication of what your achievements are, how you go after what you, what you want in life, your ambitious aspect of yourself. But in the Western world, a lot of us um, base people's personalities and who they are off of their achievements and off of their status and what they've achieved in life and things. So no wonder that is the more prominent zodiac sign here in the Western world. Very interesting. But yes, there is so much more. So your moon sign specifically is there. It's a more private aspect of you. The moon has a lot to do with our inner emotional world. It has a lot to do with how you express your emotions your feeling nature, the different types of moods you might experience, fluctuations in moods, do you snap out of it easy or do you get stuck in them? Are you a moody person? All of those kinds of things. It's the parts of you that's more private, that's a little bit more hidden, that not a lot of people get the opportunity to know. Usually it's only you, uh, the people that are closest to you, maybe the people that live with you, your friends, your family members that really get to know this version of you, but it is a very big indicator of who a person is in general. Now, in astrology, the moon also represents family, specifically the mother. So this can be a big indicator for us uh, when we're decoding someone's chart to tell us what kind of an upbringing that they had, what kind of a re relationship with their mother, what were their mother's personality traits like. And a lot of times we are conditioned by our early childhood experiences and our family life, right? So it will show conditioning that you've been subject to, which can be really helpful when you are trying to break out of that. The moon is also representative of our intuition. Now, a lot of people have really good intuition, but some people, they have really no connection with it because they might question it too much uh, or want, want to see physical, tangible results, um, or they don't feel enough to even recognize it. So it'll tell us the kind of relationship that we have to that aspect of ourselves too. The moon is also very instinctual. It's our animal-like nature right? So basically what that means is our reactions to things without us even thinking about it at all, as well as how, how we find comfort, what feels like home to us, what do we need to feel safe and secure and protected. Those are just a couple of general ways that the moon can show up in your specific natal chart. Moon in Leo. All right, Leo moons. So this is a masculine fire sign and it's pretty different from the nature of the moon, which is a little bit more passive, right? It's a feminine, more receptive sign, but that's okay because this sign, it's got the best of both worlds, right? They are going to be very emotionally expressive. So yes, they do have emotions and yes, they're going to shine them out into the world. So if this person is being treated unfairly, you're gonna know about it. If this person is extremely happy and on top of the world, you're gonna know about it. So it's it's something that, that needs to be expressed. It's a need, an emotional need of Leo to express these things, right? Okay, so in terms of their relationship with their intuition, 
Fire signs are very intuitive. So they are going to be very connected in that sense, but the way that they're gonna experience it the most and when this is gonna come through even stronger is when they're when they're in their creative self-expression, when they're expressing their creative talents. Leos are extremely, extremely creative people, whether they're performers, actors, musicians, singers, dancers, whatever they do, whether they're artists or they have some type of leadership skill, however it is that this is expressing, it's very, very imperative that this individual express themselves in this sense, or else they may be subject to depression, pessimistic behavior, and attention seeking in ways that are um, not the healthiest. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. First and foremost, the temperament of a Leo moon, they're gonna be really warm, they're gonna be fun, and they have a childlike sense about them. So they're gonna be really funny and really fun to be around. And I always like to explain it like this. So basically, the sun is the ruler of Leo, and the sun is the center of this galaxy, right? So everything revolves around it. The sun doesn't revolve around anything else. So these people, they tend to like draw others in. They have this natural ability to like draw other people towards them because their light is just shining so brightly usually. And also another thing about the Leo moon, <laughs> the complete opposite side is that that sun in the center of the galaxy, it is also the life giver. We need it to survive. It's what our warmth is. It's we need the light, right, to survive. And the Leo moon knows this. They know this very oh so well. Um, so they have to kind of keep that up, but they also uh, wanna make sure that they aren't taking this too much for granted and that they're not letting their ego get the best of them, right? Because the ego can kind of overtake the inner world and it can be expressed in unhealthy ways. So Leo has a strong emotional need for attention and admiration. And while this might sound a little, you know, out there, it's not a bad thing. Leo actually needs this in order to survive and thrive, right? But there's different ways of going about getting this attention. And just like I was mentioning, there can be negative ways of going about it as well. Um, so basically what I would suggest is not letting the ego dominate and trying to seek out this attention in any way you can find it and by finding what your talents are. What are your creative talents? What are your abilities? How do you shine as an individual? What, it, what makes you unique and sets you apart from other people? And using those modalities to get the admiration and to get the attention that you need. Using your creative talents, right? That's gonna be the healthy way to go about this. So, uh, you know, I've already been talking a little bit about emotional needs. There is a, a drive, um, and these individuals are driven by this desire for emotional gratification through admiration through attention, by being the center of attention through their performance and everything that they do. Um, and if they don't have this, it can really affect their sense of self-confidence and they can really lack in this area. So it's important to find a healthy outlet for this because I think that some Leo moons can sometimes repress their need for this if it's indicated in the chart and that's definitely not healthy and it will prevent them from shining their light in the way that they were brought to this planet to do, right? It, sh it shouldn't be something that they're ashamed of. You can think of um, when, I, when you compare the different uh, fire signs to the different types of fire, Leo would be a bonfire. And a bonfire, it burns for a really long time, the embers, but it has to be fanned right? So you, Leo, they need the attention. They need the fanning. They need it. Um, and they will. They'll keep their light shining. And it really gives other people inspiration. And it, and it gives other people what they need too, without people even really realizing that. Um, but they can tend to act from ego if they're not fanned properly, okay? Um, that's what's imperative to find that healthy outlet. So um, you want to make sure that you're getting that in a way where others respect you, okay? So that they are fanning you properly. And I think that that's what's really important for this instead of just, you know, seeking attention um, in unhealthy ways like I discussed because other people can sense that. They can feel that when you're just, when you're just thirsty for attention or whatever it might be. Um, so use that creative power within you, Leo Moons. Now in terms of upbringing, Maybe I'm going to give you just a couple examples because there's so many ways that this could play out. I can see this playing out as being raised 
in an environment where maybe you were the golden child, right? You were encouraged to express yourself creatively. You were encouraged to seek out the talents that you have. And you were probably a child who was involved in like dance and, and showy things and all different types of things like that. So um, that's one way. The child could potentially have been given lots of praise and lots of attention. Or I can see this as being um, somebody who has a mother that has a really outgoing and expressive personality, maybe they have some talents themselves, right? Which really inspired the child. Or maybe it's a mother or family dynamic where the parent was really in need of attention, always trying to buy for other people's attention in an unhealthy way. And obviously this can condition us in certain ways from childhood as well. So those are just, just a couple different ways in which I can see uh, this manifesting. It could be, if you had something different, if you had a different experience, I would highly suggest leaving that in the comments box below so that we can all learn and grow from it. But basically, emotional expression. How does a Leo moon express their emotions? They're gonna be very warm. They are extremely, extremely generous. They're givers. Not only do they want to entertain you, and not only do they want to like sh shine their light and, and give you some of that light and energize you with that, but they're definitely very generous in, in a material way. They want to give you things, right? They're, they like big grand gestures. They're very lively, very expressive, really funny, really friendly. And like I said in the beginning, if they feel a certain way, you're probably going to know it. They're going to express that. They're not going to hide that. They're going to be very out there and they're going to speak it to you, right? They're going to show you probably too. Now, in terms of being in a bad mood, I mean, this is a sign that's ruled by the sun. So they're probably not going to be in a bad mood too long. This is a fixed sign, but it's a sun ruled sign. So I think that that gives them the quality to recover, recover pretty quickly from any bad moods or um, depressive state that they could potentially find themselves in. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that this these individuals must be expressing themselves they must have their creative outlet in whatever way that shows up for you and if you don't have that and you find yourself in a depressive state that is a good indication of why okay so if you are not expressing yourself if you are not able to stand in your truth and be your authentic self you probably will end up depressed um, it is imperative for Leo and their in their healthy emotional state, that they're able to express themselves in that way. They really do uh, have an, an emotional need to be known and to be recognized and admired, to shine their light, to express themselves creatively and to lead. So I hope that you learned a thing or two about this uh, moon placement. And if you did, feel free to tap that like button below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any additional things to add to this. I'm always learning in my understanding of everything as well. So it'd be nice to know that, especially from people who are Leo moons themselves. But if you haven't done so already, make sure to tap that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and namaste.